Good morning. I'm Don Pratt, I'm lead pastor of St. Paul United Methodist Church in Largo, Florida. Uh, you know, we missed last week, uh, and uh, we're actually going to miss next Thursday because it is the 4th of July. And so let me go ahead and uh, a little early wish you a happy holiday next week. Um, I've been thinking that, you know, in Greek philosophy, there is the idea that you have a soul or a spirit that lives inside of your body. And your body is basically um, a negative thing that is uh, given to temptation and all sorts of things. And one day, finally, your soul will be free of this earthly body and your spirit will be free. And that's like the goal is to, there's the separation between your, uh, you know, your terrible fallible human body and your soul, your spiritual part of your life. They're like two separate things. That's Greek philosophy. But I've realized that so many people have been taught that in churches that they actually think that's biblical. In truth, the Bible says that God made Adam's body out of the dirt from the ground and that he, he weaves together our bodies in our mother's womb. God creates us as well. And so the body is a creation of God and everything God creates is good. And so when you start to see not spirit and flesh, you know, two different things, but you start to see that it's all one thing created by God. As one theologian said, you don't have a soul, you are a soul. It's all of us. It's, it's all the parts of who we are. And when you see it that way, then, then now caring for your body becomes a spiritual practice. It's not like what you do to nourish your soul is a spiritual practice and everything else is unimportant. Now, caring for your, your physical body becomes a part of your spiritual life. And the same thing is true when you start to look around now and see other people, you see their bodies differently because now their bodies are important. It's important that their bodies are fed and clothed and sheltered and respected and given dignity. And so then our spiritual life and our following God becomes more than just some kind of nourishment of some soul inside of us, but it comes a part of everything we do. Even our physicality is a part of our spiritual practice and our spiritual lives. So it's more than just something inside, but following God encompasses every bit of who we are, bodies, physical, the whole bit. And it changes how we see not only our body, but the bodies of others. After all, we are Christians, not Greek philosophers. Well, it's something to think about. Remember, God loves you. I hope you have a great day.